These four upgrades can push the BMW S63, all variants, into the 750 plus wheel horsepower and 750 plus wheel torque ballpark. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Media, here today with a video on how to build a 700 plus wheel horsepower BMW S63 TU. Before diving into the best performance upgrades for the BMW S63 TU engine, it's important to lay out a little bit of background information and talk about some engine and power limits with some different critical components of the BMW S63. It is very easy for the S63 to reach some limits, even just with a tune and simple basic bolt-on up upgrades, you can quickly reach the limits of a few components of the S63. Number one, there is the dual clutch transmission. So if you have the seven speed dual clutch transmission, this is in the older models before the S63 TU4. The DCT does start reaching its upper limit around 650 to 675 wheel torque. And that can really be achieved with even just a tune on these engines. So that is something to keep in mind on the S63 TU. Since upgrading that dual clutch transmission is very expensive, expensive. One of the common upgrades would be moving to Dodson clutch packs. Now on the later S63 TU engines, the TU4 specifically, BMW did move to a ZF 8-speed transmission, which is much more capable and really shouldn't have any issues before the 750 to 800 plus wheel torque ballpark. So not a concern for those later S63 engines. But again, if you do have the dual clutch transmission, that is something to be aware of, that it does start to reach its limit even just with a tune and no other upgrades whatsoever. Moving on to limit number two for the S63, we have connecting rods and the engine internals. Really, connecting rods are going to be one of the first things that start letting go. Generally, around the 700 to 750 wheel torque ballpark is a pretty safe range for the S63. Anything above that is really where longevity and reliability start to take a hit, and bent connecting rods and other internal engine failures start to become a little bit more prominent. So really, we'd recommend keeping things in that 700 to 750 wheel torque ballpark, you might be able to get a little bit more out of it safely with a good conservative tune and a couple of the other mods that we discussed throughout this video, but just something to be aware of. With that said, let's go ahead and jump in and discuss the best BMW S63 performance upgrades. Number one on the list, we have tuning. This is really going to be the best starting point and the best bang for your buck modification in general. A tune on the S63 TU and S63 TU4 can show power gains of about 50 to 100 wheel horsepower and 75 to 150 wheel torque. Now the exact power gains will depend on what stage or what map tune you are running. So that's why it is such a big ballpark, but incredibly impressive gains. And a tune will also help maximize the performance gains from the rest of the mods that I discussed throughout this video. The S63 TU with the dual clutch transmission with just a tune only and no other modifications it can easily end up in that 650 to 675 plus wheel torque ballpark. So something to be on the lookout for with that dual clutch transmission, even with just a tune, you are already right on the very edge and kind of limits of the DCT transmission. When it comes to tuning options, both the JB4 piggyback tune and Boot Mod 3 flash tunes are two of the most popular options. They do go about tuning in very different ways with inherent differences between a piggyback and a flash tune, but there isn't really a right or wrong answer answer as to which one is better really just comes down to personal preference and what you're looking for out of a tune. Moving on to upgrade number two, we have downpipes for the BMW S63. So this is really going to be one of the next best bang for your buck modifications and offer some pretty huge power gains for a simple bolt-on modification. With downpipes, you can see power gains in roughly the 20 to 40 wheel horsepower ballpark and about 30 to 50 wheel torque. On top of that, the main goal with downpipes is to reduce back pressure. And so that does really make the turbocharger's job a lot easier, and it's just safer and healthier for the turbos and engine in general, with helping move that exhaust gas out of the manifold, out of the turbochargers, and really reducing exhaust gas reversion and the pressure in that area. On top of that, with downpipes, you will also notice faster turbo spool and a slightly louder, deeper, and more aggressive exhaust note. The louder, deeper exhaust note is mostly noticeable just on cold starts or wide open throttle, so you really won't notice any differences for normal 
normal highway driving or just city cruising. So great benefit when it comes to downpipes. Now, one final topic with downpipes, one major differentiation between them is catless versus high flow catted downpipes. Catless downpipes totally remove the catalytic converters and will do the best job at reducing the back pressure. So you will see the best power gains and fastest turbo spool, really the best benefits from catless downpipes, but they come with the downside of emissions testing and even visual inspections. They're unlikely to pass any form of visual inspection or emission testing. And catless downpipes can also smell a little bit more. So a couple downsides there. And that's really where high flow catted downpipes come into play. They shouldn't produce any noticeable smells and shouldn't have any issue passing any form of inspections or emissions testing. Moving on to upgrade number three for the BMW S63 TU, we have dual cone intakes. So dual cone intakes are going to provide relatively small gains of maybe about five to 10 wheel horsepower on the S63. Exact power gains do depend on how much boost you're running and, and what other modifications you have. Dual cone intakes do also add some awesome turbo and induction sounds. Now the one downside to dual cone intakes on the BMW S63, they are relatively expensive. They generally cost about $450 to $1,000 or more. So it is a little bit expensive for the relatively small, modest power gains. So it might not always be worth it. Really just depends on personal preference and what you're looking to get out of the S63. Moving on to upgrade four for the BMW S63 TU, we have fueling. There are a couple of different things that you can do for better fueling in the BMW S63 TU. And that's going to be a small ethanol blend, like an E30 blend, water methanol injection, or race gas. All three of these offer similar benefits. Ethanol and water methanol injection probably have the most potential between all three of them. So race gas doesn't have quite the same potential, but ultimately any of these fueling mods and changes can add anywhere from 20 to 60 plus wheel horsepower. Really just depends specifically what setup you're running, how heavily you're relying on anything like ethanol or race gas or water methanol injection, and a few other factors, but nonetheless, power gains can be very impressive. Most importantly, any of these higher quality and higher octane fuels are going to be a lot safer and healthier for the engine. They're going to reduce the chance of engine knock, and ultimately that's where a lot of the power gains come from from these fueling mods, is by reducing the chance of engine knock with higher octane fuels, really allows you to safely run more aggressive ignition timing and more boost. Great option there to squeeze out some more power while also being a little bit safer and healthier for the engine. So we would highly recommend running these fuels like an E30 blend, water methanol injection, or race gas if you are planning to really push the upper limits of the BMW S63 engine. In summary, the four modifications that I discussed, a tune, downpipes, dual cone intakes, and some small fueling upgrades and changes. These four upgrades can push the BMW S63, all variants into the 750 plus wheel horsepower and 750 plus wheel torque ballpark. Really incredible power gains for just a, a few simple bolt-on upgrades and some fueling changes to the engine. Again, it's just super easy to reach the absolute upper limits of some critical components on the BMW S63 TU, which can make it a little bit expensive to really go further if you want to maximize the potential from these basic bolt-on upgrades. If you really want a max effort setup, even on stock turbos, these things can easily handle 750 plus wheel horsepower, and in some cases, even 800 to 850 plus wheel torque. It's just that that's past the safe upper limits of the engine. So if you really are starting to push things, just a few things to, to keep in mind with the S63. Be cautious with torque in the lower end and mid-range of the RPMs. That can be a major killer to engines and something that really puts a a lot of extra stress on the connecting rods and internals since the pistons are moving slower at lower RPMs and really then just subjects the, the cylinders to higher pressures and higher temperatures for a longer period of time. So something to be cautious of there. And again, if you are pushing the limits, running higher quality fuels like ethanol, race gas, or water methanol injection is incredibly important. Lastly, just stick with the conservative side of tuning and don't go trying to chase that extra 10 or 20 wheel horsepower if you're already near the limits of this engine. Keep things conservative and keep them safe, but ultimately the S63 is an incredible engine and really has no problems breaking past the 700 wheel horsepower ballpark, even just with these simple bolt-on upgrades and tuning. Anyway guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out the description below for more. Thanks everyone.